Hello guys, hit my life. Um, <laughs> I brought my camera and I was supposed to film on that. Turns out my batteries are dead and I couldn't find my charger. So now I don't have a charger to charge my batteries. But we're filming on Eleanor's iPhone, so it's absolutely fine. <laughs> but we're in Venice! Venice! And it is very nice. And it is very nice. And we're just gonna get ready because we're going out. Also, this is from my shower. I'm not sweating. I'm really hot. <laughs> He's wearing Mr. Beast now. I am actually. Thanks, Eleanor. Mr. Beast. Because also, yesterday, before I set off to meet at Eleanor's, it was really cold in the morning. So I put a hoodie and joggers on. And I got to your house and I was like, I hate my life. I'm not jogging. You would have thought it was raining from how wet I was. That's when the autumn starts getting jarring, though, innit? When it's cold in the first start of the day and then warm in the second half. And yes. You put on and then I had to go to the fucking stupid fucking awful maze under fucking canary water. One thing about you is you're going to turn this camera on and complain. <laughs> No, I'm so happy. Hi. The guy's just so happy to be alive right now. We're here to watch it. <laughs> you know, we got in a bit late last night. And one thing about Venice, kind of crazy. There's water everywhere, hey. That is insane. I've never experienced anything like that. We got out of the airport and the taxi rank were a load of boats on a river. And we got in quite late as well, so it was dark. So I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit creepy. Our boat like didn't have a roof on it, which was very cool. But I stood up and there was like these things in the water to like, I guess, guide people on where to go. When I stood up, it just looked like there was a person stood float like on the water. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> but we're in Venice. To watch a scary movie as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, Disney, for bringing us along. <laughs> it's set in Venice, so they flew us to Venice to watch the film. And also, we're doing like other fun things. Eleanor's vlogging on her chan. Oh, this is Eleanor, by the way. Hi. Uh, yeah. We don't really know like what the vibe is going to be. Like, we don't know how many other people are going to be here. There's no one so far that we know. So we're kind of preparing to really to be so friends. to be socially on. Because <laughs> we got in kind of late last night, and we mm. went straight to the rooftop bar for a uh. cocktail. Of course, we did. And we were like looking around, being like, how many of these do you think are influencers? Influence do just have a look. Yeah. And yeah. there was a couple of people were like that's a yeah, that that's, a, that's a inf influenza that's a disease if i've ever seen one um <laughs> i feel like i should apologize for that voice that we do i don't want to call it an voice yeah, that technically is what it is but like obviously she's cancelled now today we're going on like a little tour of all the locations in the film and yeah. apparently we're getting a gondola yeah because we were literally say sorry how good is this foundation by the way gone oh my god it's like one pump it's giving uh the power of makeup <laughs> i'm gonna call it Mickey <laughs> we're only here from like Monday to Wednesday, it's currently Tuesday. And we were saying, we were like, okay, well, I hope we have a little bit of free time so we can go on a gondola. It turns out it's part of the experience that we're doing today. I'm so excited. Gondola? Gone my. are the Wee. days of wondering if we're going on a gondola. Mm. And I'm gondola. La, 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 la. <laughs> I'm going to go on a gondola. Uh. <laughs> oh, also on the flight yesterday, when we landed, the person over the intercom thingy was like, make sure you don't forget any of your personal belongings and that includes children i was like what i wonder what must have happened for them to integrate yeah. that into the into the announcement yeah they gave us um like a cheat sheet of italian miss goozy miss goozy i like that we'll remember that one. Oh my god where is the vaporetto shop shut up oh oh wait what is vaporetto where can i buy vaporetto oh maybe it's like the ball i think that's thing. the <laughs> you think that's what vape was called? I was like, Italian? oh my god, like they really knew we were coming. Where is the vape shop? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, guys, have you heard that apparently the UK is going to be banning disposable vapes? Personally, I agree with it. I think it's such a great decision. Yeah, we do. That's your proud power. I do, guys. Banana! Banana! I feel like that thing off of uh, Spongebob, you know, where like, where the mum and mouth and stuff. You and Jake know a lot of Spongebob lore. I watched a bit of Spongebob when I was younger, but I feel very left out of the internet because everyone apparently was obsessed with it and knows every single thing about it. We had a whole moment in the pool in Corfu where um, we were just quoting different episodes. We must have gone through at least like 20 different episodes. Jordan, especially, knows shit word for word. I'm like, <laughs> did you have a life when you were seven? I mean, did anyone? Yeah, I was playing out in the street. Same too far. I feel like we're the last generation that was playing out like that. The youth these days don't know what it feels like to get a Grey's Knee. They just play like Grey's Knee Simulator on their iPads. <laughs> <laughs> Room service opens in five minutes. I'm I think we should get wine. wine. <laughs> Yeah, when in Rome, when in Venice, when in many, when in him, when I win, I win. <laughs> What's it years earlier up to these days? Actually, I think being a little bit cancelled, you know. Oh. Oh, maybe defending. I might be spreading misinformation online. But I think she was defending fucking the guy that shot Megan Thee Stallion. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. wait, maybe I'm adding to the false information now. Oh. But I feel like I have a memory of her doing a similar thing to what Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher did, where they wrote like a, she oh, wrote like like a, 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 a witness. I think she did write a letter to the judge. Uh. Yeah, submits letter of support for Tory Lanez ahead of the Megan Thee Stallion trial. One thing about these celebrities is they're not, they need to stop supporting uh, people. Ah! Oh my god. Also, we went and saw twice the other day. Oh my god. It was fucking amazing, guys. Remember when I was sobbing? <laughs> and then we're going to see Esper very soon. Yay! Oh, we got the luscious room service break face oh, yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I demolished the banana bread and then I wanted a second one and then I felt like a minion. Banana! banana! Service hotline, do you reckon that's it? They don't make things very easy to understand. Oh, room service on it. Fucking. Hi, uh, could we just order two glasses of Pinot Grigio? Huh? <laughs> It sounded like a hawk. I don't need to pick my nose. I did it earlier and I hid. Oh what, bake your nose? Oh, it's a pick my nose. Oh no. <laughs> you just exposed yourself for no reason. You won't pick my nose. My boyfriend to me, unfortunately. He Sometimes takes your nose. No, I want to pick his. Ew. Tomorrow. And you fucking get on me for picking my own nose. Yeah. Exactly. I draw the line at picking someone else's nose. I'll pick my own and eat it, in fact. Picking someone else's. You. Sorry that we're in love and I... Thank you for apologising. <laughs> I love blush. I got a new one. Cute. What is that? The Beauty Crop Glow Milk. What? The Beauty Crop Glow Milk. I've never heard. Never heard. You've never heard of the Beauty Crop? That's because you don't go on fucking TikTok. I've been an air spun girly literally since the dawn of time. I got it back in the day like when it was the one that everyone got. Everyone slagged it off because of like flashback Mary and stuff. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. feel like I get flashback with that. Me either. But I mean, I get a lot of comments being like, your pound is too white for you. And I'm like, no, no I am just pale. pale. I get that on TikTok all the time. They're like, oh my God, you're so pale. I'm like, I know. I do paint my face that way. I'm like actually embarrassed at how sweaty this is, but I'm kind of cool now. I think it's just residue from like when I was sweating earlier. <laughs> Remember when, who was it? Was it like Tiny Temper or someone? Did a remix of Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes. Oh my God, you just unlocked a memory. Head, shoulders, shoulders knees, knees and toes. toes. My friend Ben from school, he said that his little sister, they were like, let's sing Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes and everyone sang the normal version, but she sang that version in school. Wow. Pretty brusque. If you're watching this, do you want to come to my house one day? Oh yeah, that'd be well fun. I feel like we'd get a look. Well, we she's friends with Jack. Around. She's friends with Jack though. And I'm friends with Jack. Yeah. What's your favorite Christmas movie? It's nearly Christmas. Elf. What's yours? I don't watch movies. I'm about to beat this bitch up. Mine is the Dolan twins and Emma Chamberlain secret Santa. <laughs> Unfortunately, James Charles is also in the room. Yeah. Sorry, you literally can't see me. Right, me when I'm John Cena. <laughs> Your bestie. Oh yeah, do you remember when he followed me on Twitter? Do you remember when he was in the Fred movie? Uh, yes, because I was actually a Fred stan a little bit. I believe that from yeah. you. <laughs> and also, yeah, Lucas Crookshank used to follow me on Twitter, but then he unfollowed me. This happens a lot. Yeah, who else? Conan Gray. Oh, yeah. that would have been a cool one to still have. <laughs> Hello? Crisps? No. And pecans? A pecan? Oh my god. This is fucking crazy. Take a snack off then. Take the snacks. Well. Well. Choo choo. Tennis. Oh. Can't be nice. a Pinot Greg. Piney Greggy. Oh, Pinely. Mm. To Pinely! To Pinely! One thing about us is Pinely is our mascot. <laughs> I told him about um, the inside joke of Kenji bit Pinely. Oh God, how did he react? He was like, he found it really funny and he was like, so what, I'm just an inside joke for your group. I was like, you have no idea, Pinely. <laughs> I have no idea, you're our favourite person on earth. Well, I think it's evident from the amount of videos where he gets mentioned and we start <laughs> screaming. There was one time I'd only just started seeing Jack, really, and we were all drunk at Tooten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's in my, I think it's in my vlog. I FaceTime Jack and Pineley was there and he, like, turned the phone to Pineley and we go, Pineley! I don't know if I'm allowed to keep that bit in. Of course you are, the dog bites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one thing about us is we like to make up what K-pop singers might be saying. You do it a lot where like, they'll say something and you're like, wow, what was chicken on a Tuesday or something? Yeah. Chicken on, chicken on Monday, chicken on Monday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All I ever 
never listened to his K-pop and I don't really, I, I don't speak fluent Korean yet. So I have no idea what they're saying, but also it goes the other way where it's like, they'll be speaking in English and I won't realize. So I'm just going blah, blah, blah. And then if I ever look up the lyrics, I'm like, oh my God, I should have been understanding that the whole time. But I think I'm also one of those people that like, I don't really care that much about lyrics. I think that's why I can get like, enjoy K-pop so much. I'm someone that just enjoys like the sound and the vibes of the music over the lyrics. Don't get me wrong, if someone's really good lyrically, I, I can appreciate it, but I remember seeing something on TikTok where apparently most people are one or the other. Makes sense. I love Bad Bunny. Mm. Bad Bunny, if you're watching this, show me you and Brittany Broski hang out one time. Yes. Can I be there? And Adam. Yay. Banan! Banana! Yeah, and if any minions are watching this, you guys free to join. Yeah, because we speak your language. Banana! Banana! Well, we can't be doing all that when we're around all of these other Oh yeah, right how I'm I'm so excited for my gondola experience. What would happen if you fell in I the just water? said that in my head, you freak. <laughs> I don't know, as long as you can swim, you'd probably be alright. It'd be a bit shitty, but... Oh, it'd be jarring, we've we'll just sat and done our makeup. But famously, this powder is really good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a waterproof mascara on, girls. We're going in the Venice River. <laughs> also, yeah, you keep calling it the river. It's literally the sea. Is it? Yeah, it's not like the Thames. I mean, the Thames, uh, technically, all water is the sea. It all goes to the sea, but... Even honestly. the glass of water I just put through. Oh my god, I remember. Well, yeah, because you'll piss it out, and then it'll go into the sewers, and it'll go to the... This was a very uh, formative part of my childhood, when we were learning about the water cycle, and my teacher was like yeah all the water in the world has always been here so you're drinking the same water as the romans drank and i thought that's crazy mm. and then i realized now nah, hang on a minute that means a roman pissed it out so now i'm drinking roman piss Woo! how many of you guys think about the roman empire a lot the way I asked my boyfriend this, because this was like a viral tweet, wasn't it? I asked my boyfriend and he goes, not often. I think about the Greek Empire more. And I go, what? Like, why, why is everyone thinking about fucking empires? But he was like, I like all the mythology and I say, yeah, but that's different, isn't it? I think my eyebrows are serving. What restaurant? Oh, slam. My eyebrows are serving wagamama. Well. <laughs> Just two ramen noodles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we went for food in a Gordon Ramsay restaurant in the mm. airport yesterday called Plain Food. How fun. And it was actually really nice. It was nice, I had a curry. And also the universe was really on my side about the fact that I said I wanted a curry. Do you remember in the morning I was like, I've been really craving a curry. In the airport, I was like, oh great, I'll have that curry. And then on the plane, we had food included on our thing. And because mine was the vegan option, it was literally a vegan Thai curry. Oh my God, it was really yummy to be fair. I think that was the first like hot meal I've ever had on a plane. I've never been in a situation like that. I once had food on an American Airlines one and they made like lamb, lamb shouldn't, be on a plane. They had lamb last night. And that's exactly why I didn't get it. Yeah. yeah, I heard him say the lamb in my head. I go, that one. Yeah. Also, when he came over to like ask us for our drinks order, he said white wine. And then he was like, we've got Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc. And at the same time, we both went like this. Sauvignon Blanc. There's <laughs> <laughs> one thing about me, I'm not a Chardonnay girl. Adam's a Chardonnay hater. I and actually am. I mean, I can do most forms of white wine. Give me a white wine and I'm happy. If it's the only option there, I'll drink it, but like, I'll be complaining about it the whole time. Why, what is it about Chardonnay? I just don't? think it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer like a dry, I guess, bitter wine. Chardonnay is like really fruity and kind of sweet. It just makes me feel a bit sick. It makes me sick. Oh yeah, it was really nice when we headed to the rooftop bar last night and we were both like, should we get a Pinot Grigio? We were both sat there and it had like LED lights on mm. that were like purple and we could see the sea. And then they called it the river again. <laughs> saw loads of boats on the sea, on the Venice Sea. I've literally never been to Italy before. Yeah, no, so. same. And I realized recently as well that this is my third time out of the country within a month. Literally this time last month was in the Netherlands. And then I came back, did my birthday bonanza. Banana! <laughs> <laughs> then we went to Corfu, came back for like a week and a bit, and now we're in Italy. You literally can't keep me strapped down. And then New York soon. We're hoping to see Pitbull there. What the frick? That'll be so fun. He's added another Madison Square Garden day. I would love to experience MSG. Yeah, me having uh, like a Chinese takeaway. What is that? Have you not heard of like MSG? Because actually loads of people are like, no MSG. It's literally just salt. But because a lot of, don't quote me on this, but I think it's stereotypically like Chinese takeaways use MSG. 
and all of a sudden there's this like big stigma that MSG is like so much worse for you than normal salt. It's not. It's like the same. And I guess because Asian people use it in their cooking, racist people wanted to make it uh, demonized. It was really annoying though when I worked at the Chinese, there was this one person who said no MSG, like we're allergic. And I was like, it's salt. I thought Megan Thompson. the Stallion's having a good day. Ah, oh, love her. Although, have you heard the new song? No. Not my fave. Sorry, Meg. Why? I think they were trying to kind of go for a new wop. To be fair, the lyrics are pretty funny. Like, Jordan was like, she did like a dramatic reading of them when we were drunk the other day. And I was listening to the lyrics, I was like, these are clever and they're funny. The actual beat of the song uh, is not my fave. I'm sorry, this glitter is fucking amazing. They're made by Mitchell Blush, guys. Blush? Blush. Yeah, he has like, it's, it's like liquid blush, but it's like the sparkly one called Drip Drip. Everyone talks about it on TikTok. Look at that though. Yeah, so pretty. Fuck Mary Kill. Oh god. Dalton Gomez. I don't Ethan's. Know who that is. Come on. Dalton Gomez. Yeah, say his name again. It makes me know it. Okay, well I'll start with a different one. Oh. Fuck Mary Kill. Pete Davidson. Oh. Ethan Slater. Dalton Gomez. Oh. Fuck Pete Davidson. Marry Dalton Gomez. Kill SpongeBob. Kill SpongeBob. We should totally just stab SpongeBob. <laughs> controversially, maybe not very controversially actually. I think Pete Davidson is fit. Oh, that's the least controversial opinion a human can ever have. Yeah. Dalton Gomez is also very fit and he's got money. Yeah, and then it gaff about sponge, not gonna lie. What about you? Fuck my boyfriend, marry my boyfriend, kill all the other boys in the world. God, I'm glad I stopped being a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Glitter in my ass. Glitter in my chest. Flame of flat. I am Confucian. I told Eleanor yesterday that if I was ever murdered, she's allowed to cover my case. I do be getting a lot of um, prior consent from people being like, if I die, please cover my case. And I say, challenge accepted. To be fair, I would mainly want it because we're besties and I know that you would like gas me up. Wow. You'd be like, he was so funny, like loved him. Lit up a room. Proper gonna miss like him. Like a poor day. Yeah. Do you have any of the um, herb deck? Set spray. Oh my god, do I? Can I borrow just a smidge? Because I like this one, but it's just definitely... a smidge. You fucking use 10 gallons of it. I don't think <laughs> I use that much then. Your through. face is literally dripping wet. Well, that's how it's me. supposed to be. Oh my god, I thought that was a Tinder notification then. What? It's like, Ellie? Yeah, what was it? You have a boyfriend! I think it was your period. Oh. If I'ma put your tits in the car, I'm back. This pum pum is to die for. I love Addison Rae. Yeah, sorry, Addison Slay. Someone with dandruff be like, my flakes to die for. <laughs> Gardening centers be like, my rakes to die for. <laughs> Me when I got my boob job, my fakes to die for. <laughs> Me advertising really good car brakes, my brakes to die for. Oh, me when I'm advertising really bad brakes. Me when I'm a funeral director, my wakes to die <laughs> for. I find it really interesting where like people's surnames came from. Like mine doesn't make much sense to me at all, Neil. But like you can understand like Goldsmith and like Richardson is supposed to be like Richard's son. son. Yeah. What the fuck was Neil? And what was Zayden, hey? <laughs> and what were the Zaydens up to back in the day? You know what? My brain got stuck in a glitch yesterday because I said Buckingham Palace to Jack and he didn't understand me and I said it about three more times and then he finally understood me and I was like, well, is that not what it's called? Like, and then after that point, you know when a word just sounds wrong, you know, mm -hmm. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham. I was like, is it Buckington? <laughs> Buckerum? Did that for Literally. And that's why the government's got a ban them. They're gonna have to prize it out of my cold, dead hands. Where is it? I do hate when this happens to me though, because it makes me feel like an addict. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Wait, we're now both looking for Adam's hip. <laughs> it's in my pocket. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh no. I was like, vape down. again. Yeah, I just put it down and I was like, I'm gonna have to Mom. get Ellen a back up. <laughs> We're both doing eyeliner now, so yeah, you're not gonna it. hear from us for a while. When uh, Bailey Sarian got really big doing her makeup and true crime cases at the same time, I got loads of requests from my audience being like, oh, have you seen this like new true crime trend of like doing your makeup at the same time? You should try it. First of all, I don't wanna. Second of all, I can't fucking talk while I'm concentrating. I don't no. know how Bailey Sarian does it. When I film Get Ready With Me's, I'm kind of sat there going, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can talk while I'm doing the other stuff, but yeah, stuff like this bit where I really do have to sit there and like kind of yeah, still and concentrate. And so even also... then, I was like, I'm talking whilst I'm str like doing it, and it's just not working. Yeah. <laughs> I also have to go back in and like tweak bits of my makeup so much that like people would be like, why can't she just fucking do it? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> One thing about us is we will do things fun, but we will do things. I wonder what she means by that. I mean, we're gonna get our asses up early and have a little wine and film a little vid, mm. and we're still gonna make it to that brunch on time. This pum pum is to die for. I have to go look at my eyeliner in a big mirror. No, yeah, I always do that. I feel like you have to get several angles of your makeup before you can decide it looks good. Yeah. Could we get another glass of wine and start with this first? Do we have time? We've got half an hour. Fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my desk. <laughs> Ciao, can I get a uh, two Ciao, more Italian. glasses of Pinot Grigio, please? Sorry, I'm literally Italian. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Not me going, Ciao, can I have two <laughs> glasses of Pinot? Can Pina? I have two glasses of wine? That's yeah. like that girl, Georgia, where she's like, Bonjour. Do you speak English? <laughs> I'm brilliant. When you first picked up and you went, Ciao, I thought you went, Ciao, can I have two <laughs> That's so funny. The thing is, I feel like speaking in other languages is about confidence. I feel like there's a lot of embarrassment around like just trying it. They speak that language. You feel, I feel like you feel silly sometimes like speaking it to them, but like they know what you're saying and you're trying to yeah. speak to them. Do you know what I mean? So ciao. Ciao, Bella. So when I got my kittens, I was like, oh, all my friends are gonna be aunties and uncles. But Adam is non-binary and we were like, what are you gonna be? Yeah. And I already have a nephew and I've like had this discussion with them as well. And I can't remember where it came from. It did come from another language, but it was like a nickname or something like that in another language, Bibi. Yeah, BB Adam. BB Adam. So when the cats are pissing me off, I'm like, go talk to BB Adam. My cats are fucking fun. One thing about Pluto is she's really getting her voice box at the moment. Yeah, she's screaming. <laughs> you pick her up and she goes, meow. She's always been a bit of a meow, hasn't she? Whenever she's sleeping, if you go over to her, she just goes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> with a tongue out and everything. Yeah. I've become such a mum ever since I've got kittens. Like, yeah. I'll be out of the house, I'll be like out drinking with my mates and I'll get them up on the fucking kitty cam. I feel like a mum looking at like my baby monitor. Yeah. And then I can like press the microphone and talk to them through it. I haven't actually like tested the microphone while I've been there. I don't... It's good. Oh, is it? Yeah, because there was one time where I was babysitting them and she started speaking <laughs> and to And I come through it like yeah. that. Oh. And I was just sat there on the couch and I was like, ah, like I just heard like babies <laughs> in the corner. I was like, oh my. God. Yeah, they'll be sat in their little cat tree. There's like a slight delay between saying it and then it coming through the thing. You'll say it and then you'll watch them go. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's here. Or like God or something. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they can, they probably just can't conceptualize it. I wonder what they think is happening. Especially because it is a voice that they recognize, but you're not actually there. So they probably are like, but to be fair, it's happened that many times now that they probably understand that that funny little machine in the corner makes mum noises sometimes. The aircon in the, this hotel is not aircon in the way that the coffee aircon aircon. No, not really. No. Oh, I'm kind of giving ginger barbie. Oh, Jarby. Jar Jarby. <laughs> Another wine on the way, hey. Yeah. Another wine on the way, another wine on the way. Hey, 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 hey. Uh. Guys, disaster just struck. <laughs> so we're finished now, we're ready, woo. But um, we are, obviously you heard me order that other wine. Comes this is in. not it. Yeah, this is not it. This is another one. Uh, Cause it came in and it was pumped here. And then I like got up, sat down and it just went Psh. Great. Love that. Woo woo. All I think I did fun. take a, a quick clip of it, so you've probably seen already, but that was a disaster. So we had to get a new one, but... Nice. Lovely. That was like healing vibrations. Yeah, ready to go into Ven Town. Okay, cool, thanks for watching. We're off to Venice. Make sure you watch her vlog if you want to see what we get up to. Gondolini! Uh, oh, you burped. Whoa, weird. Yeah.